Welcome to episode three of The Road to Ultra. Before we get into today's video, I'd like to share that I am currently down to 313 pounds from my starting point of 325 pounds, which puts me at a total loss of 12 pounds over the last three weeks. And if this is your first time here at my channel, then welcome. My name is Noise. I am a 39 year old father of two boys, a husband and a real estate agent here in the Chicago area that was 135 pounds overweight and drunk every single night without any time for self-improvement just a few weeks ago until I got the bug and decided that I was going to stop being a fan of ultra marathons and I was going to become an ultra marathoner myself. My first race is the Chicago New Year's Eve 5K. This is what I'm training for at the moment. But as you may already know, even standing on your feet can be challenging when you're 135 pounds overweight. So today I am going to go over my running routine. As of today, I am 53 days out from the Chicago New Year's Eve 5K, which is going to take place on paved roads in the middle of Chicago winter. So that's the reason why I'm doing all of my run training outdoors at the moment. Uh, and here's the deal. Since my feet hurt from just walking at a steady pace, Weight loss is the most important thing for me at the moment. I need to get lighter so I don't completely destroy my feet or worse in the process. And second on my list is distance. Every one of my workouts from now until the end of the year is going to be a minimum of 5K or five kilometers or, or 3.1 miles here in America instead of focusing on time. I'm doing that so that my feet and legs are adapted to the race distance by race day. Third on my list is speed, which will come naturally if I could just stay consistent with my weight loss and keep up with the training volume or distance that I set for myself. And if you're anything like me, I did this probably sounds more complicated than it actually is. Uh, so here's exactly what I'm doing. I measured a 3.1 mile loop in my neighborhood and made it my official 5k route. The route isn't very challenging so it makes things uh, a little bit easier because it's solely me versus the road and not the other way around. Uh, funny enough, I just got over a pretty bad brief COVID beatdown so even though I already tested negative my body and, and lungs are still a little beat up. So I'm treating today's session as, you know, run number one per se, because in the last three to four weeks, I've only trained a bit. I've been more focused on staying sober, uh, but it's time to buckle down and get serious about this training. So here's my routine. I'm going out for early runs on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning. I start off at home with a five minute dynamic warm up. As soon as I get out of bed, then I lace up and head outside. Even though I warm up before beginning my workout, I'm still very intentional about easing into my run just so that my muscles and joints have a few minutes to adjust to the impact of being out in the elements on a harder surface. With that said, my first two blocks in my route that I've made for myself are pretty much just a brisk walk for me. I do make sure to keep a steady, fast pace. And by the time I get to block number three, I begin to run as slow as possible for as long as I can. And then when I hit block number four, I walk at a fast pace again until my body and lungs are ready for the next run. Now, a lot of things are happening when I go on these short, slow runs from, you know, how tight or loose my body is to my speed, the way I step forward, how I kick my feet back and push off the ground, my posture, breathing, what I'm thinking. So, you know, I like out of all those things that happen when I run, the one thing I'm focusing on 
as I prepare for my first 5K is breathing. <sighs> Made it to the corner. Now, funny enough, when I mention breathing, it's not just the pace at which I'm running or how relaxed my body is that takes me out of breath, but it's also what's happening in here because we start stressing out, and worrying about things. Like, Am I gonna make it to the corner? That agitates the heartbeat. You know, the mind is one of the things that affects breathing in a major way. So in order to improve my breathing, I, I also have to focus on what I'm thinking as well. So it's a little bit harder than it sounds in the sense that, you know, a short run for one block takes a lot of effort like I'm constantly trying to monitor what I'm thinking I'm trying not to freak out not to run too fast and all of these different things and when I notice that I'm getting a little anxious or just my mind's going out of control I just take it back to the breathing focus on the breathing control the breathing and that way I can continue to keep up with a you know a steady pace today's workout was great because for the first time since I started my journey, I was able to slowly run one whole block at a time. I did this six times today, and my average pace was 17 minutes and 37 seconds. I kicked off the first two and a half blocks walking fast today, and then managed to completely run the third block, walk the next one, run the next one. I'm about to run my third block here as soon as I step on the corner. This is a really slow pace. Just trying to control the breathing. Make it to the next corner. My goal by the New Year's Eve 5K is to run 15 minute miles or faster so as I continue to run on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm going to consistently push myself to run a little bit longer than my previous time. And I'm, I'm gonna keep that up throughout every session until I'm running more than walking or just running with little walking in between. I know there are more scientific ways to train and there are a lot of programs that are available at the moment like Couch to 5K and such but I'm just going to listen to my body and keep scaling continuously and my body will determine what's coming next. This is my run routine as I begin my weight loss journey. Thank you to everyone who has commented on my videos and subscribed to my channel. It means so much to me that you actually take the time out of your busy day to follow along my journey. And I can tell from the comments that we're gonna be friends uh, my friends in a time when there's so much happening in the world, I invite you to walk with me so we can blaze the road to ultra together. Be well.